Hi everyone, I'm Survivor Triple Seven. I'm a YouTuber, and welcome back to another episode of Destiny 2. It's been a very long time since I've um, uploaded another video. I was trying to get this large figure, 700, which is the maximum power you can get in Destiny 2. Very, very tricky to get, but in this video, I'll tell you how to get there and the best way to do it. So, as you can see, there's a character level boost. I recommend if you want to get to 700 much quicker, what you will need to do is anyway, I'll just um, show you quickly. So if we go to shop, okay, um, it should be here somewhere. Destiny 2, legendary, okay. So, you'd want, I know it looks like a crazy number, you actually would want to get, and should get, the complete collection of Forsaken, because it includes, uh, ugh, it includes, um, Orisis, or whatever it's called, the DLC, and Warmind, and this is what it includes, it includes the original base game, expansion pass, there's new two Forsaken, which is a whole new campaign, Level 30 character boost, so you can get high power. Annual pass, so you can do raids and a whole lot of new content that you'll get. And the Woken Legend set, you get this cool ghost and bow. So it's all pretty awesome. Um, but I will tell you how I got to 700. I actually did it, um, not as long as I thought actually, that's my... That's the character I've been playing on, if you've watched my past videos of Destiny 2. This is my cousin's, um, account, plays online. Um, okay, so let's get right into it. Okay. So, the first thing that you'd want to know Normally here, next to the first weapon here, there's a green symbol that says Prime Attunement. And what that does is it increases the chance of Prime Engram drops from powerful enemies. And, um, and Crucible matches. But if you want to get them, well it's not fast, it does take a while. But if you want to get them faster, um, <laughs> okay, you have to go to Earth. So, in other words, the EDD, um, Trost Land, and I'll show you what I do. This is how I get Prime Engrams much faster. So, I'll just go there quickly. Yeah, there's actually, um, so this is my character handout layout. I mean, <laughs> got the complete Reverie Dawn set. And this is an exotic, but I changed the look of it to make it look sharper, more shiny with shaders. Um, okay, I'm looking to change this vehicle to another one. Looks kind of evil. I don't like it, but looks cool with that color anyway. Cade's ship. I won't give anything away about that as soon Forsaken. Okay, um, but the vehicle I was wanting to get is this one. I'll show you. It looks really cool. This one. Looks so cool. Um, I think the shader that I'm looking to get, yeah, it's this one. Looks so cool. Oh, I want it. Okay. Well, this is how I get it. So when you arrive at Earth, you would have already done this Lost Sector in the um, campaign. You basically go into this chapel, and it's this Lost Sector over here. You'll see the symbol on the wall. You go down here, and um, what you do, you just skip past the enemies, so you defeat the boss. 
And I'll just do it once so you can see. Okay. So, gonna skip past the enemies, go straight to the boss. Don't worry, you didn't feel anything. Okay, um. Alright. Okay, so. Oh, I got a legendary, that's a good sign. So, every, um. About six legendary, there's a good chance that a prime will drop after that. Um. So you just keep doing this over and over and um, you go outside the lost sector but not out completely. When you reach this tunnel, you'll see on the left corner of your screen, see how it says Trosh Land? That appears and it says European Dead Zone. The second that appears, so as you're coming up the tunnel, you just go a little bit past this corner so as you're running, go back. And you do it over and over, you do the boss. And that's how you get prime engrams fast. Um, another good way of getting to 700, you'll notice that 500, the legendary drops or engrams or whatever, don't seem to give power anymore, high power. So, you'll see these uh, yellow symbols. You, I'm sure you're familiar with it if you play Destiny 2. So, Take this one for instance, it says weekly, complete a nightfall strike, see um, below nightfall complete, how it says it rewards powerful gear, that will increase your power dramatically as well as prime end drop, uh, engram drops, I mean, so, um, for people that's been watching my videos, um, don't watch any further unless you play this already. And you've done the campaign, this is a bit of a spoiler alert. Um, but if you've got Forsaken, there's also the powerful weapon frames from the Black Armory. That gives you high power. And um, so I'll show you that. Anything from any non-player character, say NPC, can sometimes have bounties that reward well, if, if you blow the 500 mark legendary items to increase power, then there's powerful items for rewards. So I'll just show you. So non-player characters are such as these, these green symbols on the map. Some are just like for more sideshow, I guess, like her. She gives vehicles and looks and stuff like that um so i got an 682 helmet that's pretty good i don't want it because i'm 700 um okay so now people seem to struggle at first they they looked and they found about the black armory but they don't know where to find it because you actually in order to unlock the black armory you have to first complete the forsaken campaign and there is a there is a cutscene at the very end of the game which is a bit of a surprise so I won't give it away but um there's a cutscene at the end and it tells you to unlock the black armory so the black armory you get all of these cool weapons or very very good weapons depending on what power you are but if, if you get the um, powerful weapon frames I'll show you quickly so this is the last cutscene of the game it plays here you want to talk to Ada Anything I and you have all these bounties so this one you'll see to get a weapon frame you'll need a ballistics log so you need to complete a forge that you've unlocked to get a ballistics log the first one I think you unlock was uh, uh which one was it again oh uh, yes um it was from 
Vola. It has a weird name. I'll show you. First one you unlock is this one. Then this one. I'll tell you how to unlock it in a sec. Um, then that one. And that one. And I don't know why it's telling me to go there. Because it is lame. Okay, um. So, how do you unlock the forges? I regret speaking to you because he interrupted me, Adam. Okay, um. <laughs> so. To unlock the forges, you have to kill a certain amount of fawn to unlock the. Um, so this forge. So the first one you unlock is pretty easy. Um, to unlock this forge, you need to kill Fallen. She is so rude, Ada. Yeah, me too. Um, and these two, I'm pretty sure you have to kill Vex. So it's those robot things. Fallen are those guys with the purple. Um, and that's that. So there's all the weeklies and dailies that you can do. Now if you have Forsaken, there's also the Tangled Shore. So if I go here, there's actually a bounty for wanted enemy that has powerful gear, which people miss. Um, and... What this bounty is, you have to hunt down a wanted enemy, so, um, one of spiders, well, in Forsaken, if you don't want anything to be given away, um, he's more of a negotiator and, yeah, doesn't want war, but he gives me the creeps because he reminds me of someone, <laughs> that's kind of all of our enemy, but anyway, um, so I'll go to spider. Okay. So you just follow this here. Okay. If there's any children watching this, you'll get freaked out. He is a very creepy guy. Ooh, I don't like him. Let's make it deep. I don't want to. You're creepy. Okay, see how it says legendary gear can be rewarded. So if you are uh, 500, gives high power there. Um, but this one is a, the most wanted enemy. So this week's one is Grave Tide Summoner, which rewards powerful gear. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, um, the next big thing is when you've unlocked the dreamy city after you've completed Forsaken. So many questions, I'm becoming offended. You don't want to see me offended. <laughs> okay, I think AI is very intelligent, they know what I'm talking about. How did he know? How on earth did he know? Okay, so for for the Dreaming City when you've unlocked it, I'll tell you a bit about it. It's the last place you unlock. Okay, so this is how you normally start out. It's beautiful, I know. Okay, um, you go to Petra. Still fighting the good fight. She's a big part of Forsaken. Um, you'll see all of these pursuits. So there's one. See how, um, so gateway between worlds. You'll, you'll see that a reward is a bit mysterious. It will reward you an offering to the oracle. Now you're probably thinking like, what the heck is that? So you see that big gate over there? You go through that, you follow that. And you'll see Blindwell, 
says it's active, you need a recommended power level of 550, so it's pretty high. Um, when you get there, you'll see this massive um, thing in the middle, and it says deposit light tier 1, 2 or 3. They're both different levels, if you want to do the high ones, there has to be more players. Um, but yeah, that's blind well. Okay, now the Sendent Challenge. This one is pretty tricky. The Sendent Challenge is a weekly event where you have to use something called a Texture of Queen's Fall. Um, which should look like this. Uh, foil, I mean. So it says opens your mind to the secrets of the Dream City. So when you you have to look up where the Ascendant Challenge is each week. And when you get to the right location, you use that tincture. Um, and there's a portal that opens and you have to complete the Ascendant Challenge. So when you've completed it, you'll get powerful Reverie Dawn armor or weapons. Which is the armor I'm wearing now. You just, you won't get this one. This is a random drop I got from Blindwell or Activities in a Dreamy City. Um, but never exit the Ascendant Challenge if you have the Wish and the Bow. I'll, I'll talk about that. Now the reason why you want the Wish and the Bow. There are eggs hidden in the Ascendant Challenge. And if you shoot these eggs with the Wish and the Bow. You get, you also get powerful Reverie Dawn armor and weapons. So it's like you don't have to do dailies or weeklies from Petra at all for that Ascending Challenge. So it's just one bounty and it's pretty easy. Oh my goodness, she's creepy. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> um, oh. What now? Let's see. Oh yes. Let's. Still fighting. Okay, so that's just completing daily bounty. So it's these ones. Now the Oracle Engine. When you accept this, the Oracle Engine quest should appear where my mouse cursor is over here somewhere. So I'll show you the location. Lovely music. Okay, so it should appear somewhere here. There you are. I think it was down here somewhere. Yeah. It's, oh no. That's. Oh, never mind. I lied. Okay. <sighs> if I remember correctly, it was somewhere there. Or it could have been down here. But down here, if you drop down. It's by the, it's by that arch there, you'll see it. There's actually a hidden cat here. Now, you'd be thinking like, what the heck do I mean by cats? But a lot of people don't know about this, what cats are. Once every week, you'll receive a small gift that should appear in your pursuits. Or, I don't know, I think it's in pursuits or war. Uh, consumables, but this is where one of the cats is. He's right there. He's small, and you give him the small gift, and he gives you, again, powerful Reverie Dawn armor and weapons. So, very, very good way to get your power level up. Um, so I'll actually try and find in this video if I can find one that I have not got but I know about. Um, I'll see if I can find one for you so you know what to look for. I've got four ready, so... Just... There you are. Okay, you're creepy. I am leaving. <laughs> okay, so you... want to go to this area. If I can remember it in my head. 
Where's it go? Ah, where was it? Ah, yes. Yep, here we go. This is hard to get to. It's up there. It's a lot of parkour. Oh, why make it dark? Why do this to me? Oh yes, yep, I'm in the right, right track. A lot of parkour involved. At least in this game, it's pretty simple. Uh, I spoke too soon. I was thinking like, where, where was I supposed to go next? Yeah, getting to 700 is a slow climb. You can't do it all in one go. It takes time. But with dailies and weeklies, you just come in every day come in every week, you get different things to do and you just basically do it over and over until you get close to 700 then powerful items will actually be lower, funny enough than what you tend to get us so that's what a um, cat looks like so if I had a gift right now, I would give it to this cute little cat here, kitty kitty okay, um so, yeah, so that's how you get cats. That's a hidden, hidden area, hidden event in the Dreaming City that you really needed to know about. Um, the next thing is the Shattered Throne location, which is an event that happens every three weeks. So I'll show you the location. But before I do, there are two hidden vendors in the Dreaming City that you may not know about. And it changes every week. It gives you different things. So I'll show you that. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, I thought there was a drop, thank goodness. Okay, so you want to head over to... Never looked like that before. What the heck? Is there something going on in here? I'd have to check out the Shattered Throne. I think the Shattered Throne could be on. But this isn't the Shattered Throne that I'm showing you. Ah. Stop shooting me. I'm not your enemy. For now. Okay, so... This is the Dreaming City. You can actually go inside and there's a lot to explore. And I'll show you where the two hidden vendors are. Um, also, you can use the tinctures of Queen's Foil. And um, there are hidden areas in different locations in the Dream City. There's one where that gate is on your way to Blind World. You'll see there's a white glowy platform. You just follow it. Leads you to a chest up where the gate is really high up. Um, and yeah, that will be your first chest. There's also one, um, where, I'll show you. I'll show you where one is. So, you used your tincture of Queen's Foil. And there should be, there should be an egg that appears. There's one over there. See that's what an egg looks like? So when I shoot it with a normal weapon, see how it says immune? You have to have the wish and the bow to to shoot it. And when you use... Ah, stop shooting me. Just a sec. That's it. Yes, Johnny. <laughs> that is the Thunder Lord, an exotic weapon, and it is very good. But when you use the um, 
what I was meant to say that interrupted me. When you use the um, tincture of Queen's Foil, there's a platform that appears here and you follow it around and it'll take you up there. I'm not sure what it's for to be honest, I think it's to get a better shot of that. Egg over there. Um, but we'll be on our way to the two hidden vendors. So you just follow the spiral stairs to go down here. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get up. Okay. okay. Go down here. I know it looks crazy jumping into a hole. Let's go back up. Okay. Now, this is another hidden area. Which a lot of people miss. Um, so, you think this is all it is. But there are two doors and you'll come up to this. See how it says trade with hugging um, 50 brown boards? So you do that and it gives you a tincture coins for. And I'll do it again. Because I need it for the incendent. Thank you. Oh, you ignore me, you little. Okay, um... And there's another one, that's one of the vendors. There's another one over here. And that one just gives you tears for blind well. Okay, so what I want to show you is the last thing. Is the Shattered Throne location. Like I say, it happens every three weeks. Um, but that's basically all you do to reach 700. It takes a while, but you'll get there. And if you need any help with the game, you can add me, Survivor777, and I'll play with you and I'll help you out with whatever you need. Even if there's something I've never done, we can do it together. I'm happy to do it. Um, yeah, I can help you reach 700 as well. Next week, though, it does increase to 750. So, if you want to get to 700 right now, tackle with what I mentioned and... Wait, what was that? Oh, yes. Tackle to <laughs> what I mentioned and you'll be fine. You'll reach 700 in no time. Well, before it increases, but anyway. <laughs> that's how you do it. Okay, so last thing I wanted to show you in this video and I'll probably do a strike to end it off um, now when you when you cross that arch you'll come up to here this is where for the Oracle engine quest or whatever the one where you get the offering for the Oracle you come to this place and this is the Queen of Mol, or whatever her name is, Molly. <laughs> um, yeah, this is where you give the offering to, and what happens is, you go up here first. And you'll see a creepy hooded lady here. And it says you lack an offering, you need the offering of the Oracle. When you present it, this will open, either a chest appears here, or that that thing will open, and there's a portal that takes you to her humble abode, or whatever, whatever it is. Um, yeah, but that thing there, you can see it opens, and you go in there, there's a chest, um, and you can do it over and over each week, but... I'm not sure if the glitch is fixed, but there's a glitch where you hand in the bounty for to receive the offering, but you don't turn it in till weekly resets. This enables you to present the offering over and over and over again without ever doing the bounty ever again, and you can get unlimited chests. To get the Reverie Dawn set that you wanted. But I think that bug has been patched. So you can give it a try. I've tried it. It actually worked for me. But yeah. I don't think it's there anymore. 
Yeah, that's weird. Disappeared. Well, I was able to do it like, I don't know, five times in a row. I'm not kidding. Like, it, it was ridiculous. I could just do it again and again. So maybe they have patched it, but it just disappears over time. So you can do it over and over till it disappears. I think. It worked for me, so. Yeah. It's a pity I don't have it now, then I could show you. Okay. So the last thing I wanted to show you is the Shattered Throne location. This is a major event that happens, like I said, three weeks. Um, or every three weeks. So, as you come to the arena in the center here and you see this massive building, on your way to the Oracle, you just go up to the bridge, you go cut to the right, drop down here, and you'll get a fright here the first time you see it. There's a portal. You know, you're thinking like, what on earth? earth is this here for? You go in there? Hidden area of the dream city. And I'll show you where the Shattered Throne is. It might not be on now because I don't think it's time, but I recommend only doing the Shattered Throne when you're 700 because it's extremely hard. It's extremely hard. Or if you're playing with a 700, you're in like the 680 area. Yeah, it's not on right now. But this is where the Shattered Throne is normally. I've done it once. It's really good, but hard. And then this is how you get the wish and the bow. And so there's a lady that stands here. You can talk to her. It's optional, but the portal's open. There's taken lights floating everywhere when the vent's on, and this, this opens. So, and that's how you get to 700. I hope this helped, guys, and enjoy the rest of the video. I'll be playing a strike to end it off. Hopefully others will join. Let's see who's in my clan. Hmm. You can see there's a lot of 700 people here. Okay, let's see who's on my team. 700, 697, two 700s. Hmm. This should be pretty good then. Sweet water. Okay. Ooh, a serious. This is on planet Mercury. And this is part of Forsaken. This area. Wait, what? Did they, did they leave? They are, they are there. Uh, where's my fire team? Um. Okay. Well, I suppose I can just. Where is everyone? Hey, 
Yes, my fire team, that's a lot better. These are random strangers so I'm playing exactly with. Is the issue? I've recreated Dendron, the root mine. I thought I could control it. You always do. That's why people talk. Now that Panoptes has fallen, the root mine is attempting to take its place and govern the forest. Well, then let's blow it up. If you're afraid of hearts. Hello. <laughs> oh, I thought you were. <laughs> no, you're not. Fire team, yeah. Oh, yeah, um. I forgot for the. I forgot about the primate human. To have that um, symbol is daily, and you must reach level 50 for it to appear. It increases your chance of prime drops from powerful enemies. So that's the only thing you need to know about that. I forgot about that.
Ah, he's doing it. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you. The root mine has rebuilt this spire entirely. Complete root mine. Sagira and I spent weeks taking it down. Vex efficiency will be the death of us all. Hi. If you want to know how I got Thunder Lord, um, you get it from a rare drop, an exotic drop in Gambit, which is PvP. But it's a lot of fun. I wasn't here for that. I think I was dead. Don't be dramatic. You were asleep. I saw things in the dark. The traveler was there, and it was so small. it anyway. You're going down. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I want an ally. Oh, and our ally reaches the boss. Everyone just on the map waste one sec. Okay, you're going down. I'm dead. Yeah. Revive me. Revive me. Thank you. If this is a full the weekly or daily, this gives you powerful you items, but I don't need any of that, well, I might as well. La, 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 yeah, if you, if you can't find anyone to do this with, you can do it with me, you can just add me, that's my name there, and I'm happy to do it with you. Alright, um, and that is my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll be back with more of the campaign of my older videos. I'll make new ones. So please stay tuned and I'll be back. Thanks guys. Bye.